Steve, commiserations, the UEFA Youth League journey comes to an end, but how proud were you of the performance tonight? Massively proud, uh, not only tonight, but the whole cam campaign, as you say. You know, we, we probably won't stop thinking about, you know, that counter-attack that could we have got that second goal when Ethan Laidlaw went through. And I think if we do get that second goal, we're in the next round. Uh, but, you know, like you say, on, on reflection, we're proud not only of the the players that started tonight, but the subs, you know, and everybody that's been involved in a, you know, a really, really top, top campaign. And you can see the reaction from the Dortmund staff that, you know, they they were ecstatic because they, they knew how difficult the game was for them. And, you know, we gave it a good goal, but unfortunately t uh, tonight we just we couldn't get over the line. Yeah, we really went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Borussia Dortmund. It was some effort from start to finish, wasn't it? It was, and I, th I think you know we, we wanted to stifle them, we wanted to frustrate them. We we played really, really well on the counter attack. Um, you know they've got quality. Let's let's be honest. You know the, the front unit, the midfield unit are quick, they're dynamic, but I thought we kept them relatively quiet. Um, and maybe on another night, you know we'll, we've got you know a real late appeal. I, I've not seen it again, but maybe a, a shout for a handball at the very last minute um, that would have taken it to penalties. So. Uh, we've got a lot of top top performances tonight. You know, very difficult to pick a man of a man of the match because we had so many, and that's good for the fans to be able to take a little glimpse of the future and see some of these young players and, and what they can bring to the club. Yeah, as you said, there was so many standout performances. One thing I picked out from the performance was that it was that really that never say die attitude that really sums this team up. It does. I mean, we've had that in the whole campaign. You know, we had it last year. You know, to get us into this competition where it doesn't really matter the score if we if we if we go behind or if we're having a tough spell, they dig in, they back each other up, uh, they keep the structure, they keep their discipline, they keep their work ethic, you know. And if you do that, you're always in a game. And you know, we'll, we'll reflect on certain elements of the game, uh, ones we could maybe do a little bit better. But overall, in the whole whole campaign, uh, you know, it's massive amounts of credit and. You know, each and every player can be proud of their commitment. Yeah, looking back at the whole campaign on reflection, how much will the lads get from you know playing in big stadiums like this, playing in front of seven and a half thousand fans, and playing against this kind of calibre of opposition? Well, well, I think as soon as as soon as you've been in this environment where you're playing stadium football, you're playing it in front of our fans. You know, they they want more. You know, and, and more is getting into the first team because we we can't play here at reserve games. We can't play here at, at, in youth games. So. They get that, you know, that taste of real stadium um, mentality, real stadium vibe. So you only get that by playing in the first team. So hopefully, they get that, and you know, the, the desire to to feel that again, you know, pushes them into the first team, making sure they train with the first team, making sure that if they get into the squad and they get onto the pitch, they can like um, Josh did last time, like Oscar did last game. Once they do get on the pitch, making an impact that will, you know, get them another another appearance. Appreciate your time, Steve. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you.